initially was going to make a video about laser cutting leather, but when I tried it, I ran into some issues. Yeah, didn't want to set the lab on fire. So instead, we're going to 3D print some stuff. So Calvin over at Make It and Calvin and Me traded, and I ended up with some cool different metal fill filaments. Now, I've never printed it in anything except basic PLA, so I was excited to try this out. For a test, I chose this cat ring by Floaski. Floiski? I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. I knew it would be small and easy to print, and when I was done, I could give them to my friends. Seriously though, this guy models some really cool stuff, so you should go check him out. I tested the rings in various sizes, and off the build plate, they all looked pretty good. And after just a teeny bit of sanding, they looked pretty cool. The four filaments I printed in were stainless steel PLA, matte fiber PLA, magnetic iron PLA, and carbon fiber PLA. Here they all are. I was pretty excited at this point, so I decided to print the next logical thing, Millennium Falcon. It actually came in three parts that you glued together, and since it was a keychain, I needed some wire for the ring. For some reason, the lab doesn't have any wire, but we do have these giant resistors lying around, so I just clipped some off that. Only here do we have no wire, but giant resistors. And check it out. Pew, 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 pew. I think the magnetic PLA is my favorite because I actually forgot it was magnetic until I accidentally put a magnet towards it and then it blew my mind. But wait, there's more! I also got some sweet bamboo fill filament, which I think is my favorite. I'm considering buying a roll of this. After some sanding, it looked pretty convincing to be wood. I'm sure if I had any polish or shining things, this could look a lot better, but I was really impressed with just a little bit of sanding could do. And now I have enough of these to make brass knuckles. 